I was trying to get her pet bunny to eat. Fluttershy noticed a huge cloud of black smoke floating over Ponyville as her bunny started to cough. She ran to the park to warn the other ponies, but nobody paid attention to her. Twilight Sparkle finally got everyone's attention and announced that the smoke that was spreading all over Equestria was coming from a napping dragon. We gathered at Twilight Sparkle's house where she said, We need to get the dragon to nap elsewhere or else Equestria will be covered in smoke for a hundred years. We all geared up in preparation for our dangerous journey. Twilight Sparkle then gave us the map. We would have to move quickly in order to make it up the mountain by nightfall. Fluttershy volunteered to stay in Ponyville while the rest of us went to find the dragon. Twilight Sparkle said, You have to come. Your way with wild animals will come in handy. Spike will watch your animal friends while you're away. So, we began to trek up the mountain to find the snoring dragon. Suddenly, we noticed that Fluttershy was still at the bottom of the mountain. She whimpered. It's so, so steep. Applejack took the map and said, I'll need this if I'm going to take her around the mountain another way. Applejack and Fluttershy took the long route around the mountain, but eventually caught up with the rest of us. We soon came to a ravine, but Fluttershy was too scared to jump over it. Using teamwork, we helped her get across. Twilight Sparkle then whispered, Stay quiet. According to my map, we're entering an avalanche zone. Fluttershy got frightened and then screamed when a leaf fell onto her back. Applejack tried to quiet her down, but it was too late. Avalanche! We all made it out of the avalanche safely, but had to climb over the fallen rocks to get back up the mountain. Finally, we reached the dragon's cage. Twilight Sparkle said she and Fluttershy would convince the dragon to move. Unfortunately, Fluttershy was too scared to go inside the cave. She explained that she was terrified of dragons. I quickly said, Spike is a dragon. You're not scared of him. Fluttershy replied, That's because he's not a terrifying, enormous, teeth-gnashing, sharp steel having horn-wearing, smoke-snoring, could eat a pony in one bite total off grown up dragon. So, Twilight Sparkle went into the cave alone to convince the dragon to find a new place to nap. She was very polite, but the dragon didn't want to hear it. So, Rarity decided to give it a try. Though she showered him with compliments, the dragon didn't appreciate Rarity's attempt to walk away with his jewels. I thought my silliness would warm him up, but apparently this dragon didn't like to laugh very much. Rainbow Dash then angrily flew into the cave, yelled at the dragon to get out, and kicked him in the nose. The furious dragon came charging out of his cave and let out the loudest roar, sending all of us flying backwards. Suddenly, Fluttershy removed her hooves from over her eyes, came out of her hiding place, and flew right up to the dragon. She scolded him for bullying her friends. Then she insisted he nap elsewhere, since his snoring was a help hazard to other creatures. The sobbing dragon apologized to us and went off to find a new place to sleep. The smoke cleared up in Ponyville, and everyone was happy and healthy again. I love reading with you.